As we heard all the news coming out of Israel this last week, it could be easy to ask God, where are you? Where were you? Over a thousand people were killed ruthlessly in the streets, men, women, children, elderly. And this is not a new question. In fact, the prophet Isaiah asked this question. He says in Isaiah 49 that Zion says, am I forsaken? Am I forgotten by God? And he then goes on to say, can a woman forget her nursing child? Can she have not compassion on the son of her womb? He says, surely even these may forget, but I will not forget you. Israel, I've inscribed you on the palms of my hand. You are not forgotten. You are not forsaken. And so as we have so many Christians around the world that are praying for Israel right now, we want to challenge you, the global church, to pray for Israel by name. Just as the names of the children of Israel are inscribed on the palms of God's hands, we want to inscribe the names of these over a hundred hostages on our hands. There's over a hundred hostages right now in Gaza, children, women, men, and elderly. And we want to see God free the captive, release the prison chains, and rescue those that are currently in oppression. They're facing the darkest season of their lives. And so we're asking, would you write the name of one of these hostages on the palm of your hand as a reminder to ourselves that they are not forgotten, that we remember their name and they are remembered by God. They're inscribed on the palm of God's hand. We've already heard one miracle of a woman that's escaped and was able to return back to Israel. We're believing God for miraculous rescue, for a miraculous saving of lives. And we're gonna do that by praying for Israel by name. So I wanna challenge you. I wanna challenge your church. I wanna challenge your faith community. Would you write the name of one of the hostages on your hand using a black marker and post a photo or a video of you praying for that individual? And would you use it as a reminder throughout the day? When you look down at your hand, we're praying, we're remembering them because they are known by God, they're remembered by God, and they are not forgotten. We wanna see a movement of a million Christians around the world that are praying for Israel by name. Will you join us?